Hey everybody, I just wanted to give an update. Uh, we had our Juneteenth par uh, parade today in Harvey. Um, these are my wounds from last week. So you can still, you can see the bruising uh, where the police cuffed me. They were, they were really hard on me. They didn't need to be that hard, but they were on purpose, unfortunately. Uh, you can see a little bit there. And then on this side, you can see, uh, see a little bit of the bruising. And then there's the cut there you can you can see the marks where they put the where they put the um the handcuffs so yeah they they're pretty brutal wait here's another good view there you go but um you know i'm still here i'm still kicking we're not going to give up we had a juneteenth party uh parade today um alderman key alderwoman uh, Colby Chapman was there, very supportive. Bonnie Rattery basically organized it. Unfortunately, the city to the very end, the mayor and his four alder yes men um, deny, like told the police and fire, all the city departments that they were not allowed to participate in a Juneteenth parade. Listen, this is a town that has a lot of African American or black residents. This is a black mayor telling people they're, they're all descended from slaves in the US. He's telling these other descendants of slaves that they that work for the city that they cannot celebrate Juneteenth, which is all about the last slaves finding out that they were freed. So I don't know how much nastier you can get or how much more corrupt you can get. So we're gonna keep standing up for our rights. Again, this mayor is shutting down businesses that he has no business shutting down. They can't feed their families. Um, He's asking them for money so that they can open back up, but we don't know where that money's going. It's not going to any sort of debt that they owe, like property taxes. Um, he is asking churches to get business licenses that they should not have to be paying for licenses and then paying these exorbitant fees for inspections that he's he's making the churches get. And also we just have the harassment like of me just being in a public meeting and getting brutally um, uh, manhandled, my neck grabbed, um, you know, like I said, my wrists, they're still swollen, they're very painful. Um, and uh, escorted out and taken to the police station and, and, and intimidated and said, hey, you have to sign this form saying that you know you were involved with disorderly conduct or we're not gonna let you have your cell phone or talk to anyone or let you go or, or, or we'll charge you with more and then print, fingerprint you and actually hold you. So I mean, this, this is not okay. Um, I, you know, I'm, like I said, we're not gonna give up, but we, we do need people to, okay, we need people to come out uh, to the next meeting, uh, Monday, June 24th, 7 p.m., City Hall in Harvey, 15320 Broadway. It doesn't matter if you don't live in Harvey. Come out and say, we don't want corruption overtaking our free society, right? Everyone's rights should be respected. When my rights are not respected, your rights are in danger, okay? So that that's why we all have to remind ourselves. We're all linked together in this system. If we want to have a free and respectful society where people, uh, people's human rights are, are respected, everyone's rights need to be respected. So I uh, hope to see you all June 24th, Monday, 7 p.m. is the next city council meeting. And let's keep up the fight for an honest and free society.